today, I'm going to review my top 10 favorite movies. So let's not waste any time. Let's get going. Number 10, Friday the 13th Part 4, The Final Chapter. A lot of the Friday the 13th films are fun, and this one is no exception. Jason has a few good kills in this film, and has some good characters, like Tommy Jarvis in it, to make this arguably the best Friday the 13th film, and my personal favorite. Number 9, School of Rock. For those who don't know, I'm a huge fan of hard rock and heavy metal music. I also like comedy. This movie blends both together splendidly. Jack Black's performance is great, and the kids can be pretty funny at times. It's a great movie that pays tribute to rock and roll. Highly recommended. Number 8, Seed of Chuck. I don't care what anybody says, I like this movie. While it's not always funny and scary, it gets its point across and is extremely entertaining. Everyone is funny in this movie and it takes the number 8 spot. Number 7, Freddy vs. Jason. The crossover horror film probably wasn't what everyone expected, but it was still a lot of fun to see Freddy prove that Jason for his battle. It has great kills, good comic relief, and great direction by Ronnie Yu. Number 6, The Naked Gun from the Files of the Police Squad. This is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Both visual and role jokes a mile a minute. This 1988 comedy is pure gold. I love the other two movies in the Naked Gun series, but this one is by far my favorite. Number 5, The Big Lebowski. The dude abides on this 1998 comedy. In a classic case of mistaken identity, Jeffrey the Dude Lebowski is mistaken for a millionaire by the same name. The rest of the film follows him trying to get his rug back. It's a bit of a crazy plot, but the Coen brothers make it work. Every time I watch this movie, I always laugh, and that's the sign of a great comedy. Number 4. Pulp Fiction In my opinion, Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece. Though the story is toward out of order, it still works, and I like how all the three separate stories tie into one all together. It's both funny and violent, but it never goes over the edge, as just the right amount of both. Tied in with great performances from Samuel L. Jackson, John Travolta, and Bruce Willis, and not just the number four spot on my list. Number three, this is Spinal Tap, my favorite comedy movie of all time. The reason it works so well is because it feels like a real documentary. It's well shot, and the improvisation is spot on hilarious. It probably helps to be a fan of heavy metal to get some of the inside jokes, like Spinal Tap's Stonehenge set being a reference to Black Sabbath, stuff like that. But at the same time, if you don't know the reference, it's still hilarious. It's the funniest movie I've ever watched. Number 2. The Crow Like I said in the review, it's the best revenge movie I've ever seen. The characters work and the story is great. The movie looks great and is dark and gray. The violence is just right, never over the top, done very well. The shootout scene with my life with the thrill kill cult after the flesh plant in the background could very well be my favorite scene in the movie. The music by Graham Revelle works very well, creating a movie atmosphere. And my number one favorite movie is... Bride of Chucky. It was pretty obvious, but I can't help it. I love this movie. The acting, the characters, the story, the direction, cinematography, it all makes this movie work so well. It looks beautiful in a dark way. The horror comedy hybrid really works here, with one genre never trumping the other. Just this fine line between horror and comedy. It's an awesome movie, and I can't say enough things about it. So that's my top 10 favorite movies, and my next review will be Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights.